In this video, we are going to solve the first problem in IMO 1978. So we have natural numbers m and n, where n is larger than m, and 1978 to the power of these two numbers are congruent to each other mod 1000, which means they have the same ending three digits. The problem is to find the minimum value of m plus n. Before we move on, don't forget to give a like, subscribe to my channel, and turn on post notifications. Let me first introduce the tools that I'm going to use for this problem. The first one is the Euler's theorem. So for integer a and natural number m, with a and m being um, co-prime, this bracket here is referring to GCD, greatest common divisor, or uh, some people may call it HCF. Uh, and this is equal to 1, which means um, co-prime, that means they do not share any common prime factor. Then a to the power of phi of m, I'll define phi of m later, this power is congruent to 1 mod m, which means it will have remainder 1 when it's divided by m. As for this term phi, phi of m, here's the definition. It's actually called the Euler Totion function. So for any natural number m, if I write it in this form of prime factorization, prime factorization, then phi of m is defined by this product, m times the um, terms of the form 1 minus 1 over prime. Um, these p1 up to pk are the prime factors of m, and they all multiply together and multiply by m as well. This will be the phi of m. So for example, um, for our problem, we're talking about uh, 1,000, so 1,000, we can split it into 2 to the power of 3 times 5 to the power of 3, and that means phi of 1,000 is equal to 1,000 times 1 minus 1 over 2 times 1 minus 1 over 5, and that will be 400. In fact, um, this number is also representing the number of natural numbers or number of positive integers such that that is between 1 and 1,000 and co-prime with 1,000. There are actually 400 of such numbers. So that's Euler's Torsion function and the Euler's theorem. Now, the second tool is about the term order. All is referring to the smallest natural number such that um, powers of a would um, return to uh, 1 mod m. So um, I keep multiplying a by itself, multiplying by, uh, power by power, and then at some point I should uh, reach 1 mod m if, given that, a and m are numbers that are again co-prime. So for example, I'm saying um, 2 mod 7, so the first number is 2, 2 to the power 1, and 2 squared is 4, 2 third is 8, 2 to the power 4 is 16, 32, 64, etc. From all this theorem, we know that phi of 7 is actually equal to 7 times 1 minus 1 over 7, and that's actually 6. So we know for sure that 2 to the 6, which is 64, is congruent to 1 mod 7. By all this theorem, but by checking all the powers, we know that actually this is already congruent to one mod seven. So the order is that for uh, two mod seven is actually not six, not according to all this theorem, but it's actually three. So it's a smaller number. So this is important because by then we can um, decompose. Um, we can actually find the structure, not decompose, we can actually find the structure of powers of 2 and mod 7. In fact, I can tell all the possible cases. So, starting from 2, and this number is 4, and then we have 1, and notice that after that, um, this, um, these numbers are going to repeat itself. So, up the, one, the number after 1 is 2, and then 4, 1, etc. So, basically, we have blocks of 2, 4, 1, and then it just repeats itself. And in particular, because of this um, property, we know that this order must divide 
phi of m. So these are the tools that I'm going to use for this problem. Now back to the main problem. So we cannot apply Euler's theorem or the concept of um, order um, directly into this equation because our base and the number we are dividing by, which are 1978 and 1000, they are not co-prime. So we have to treat it as an ordinary uh, congruence equation first before we actually use those tools. So starting from this equation, I can say that 1978 to the power n minus the same number to the power m is congruent to 0 mod 1000. And I'm going to take common factor because we know that we must have n to be the larger number. So I'm taking um, power m as a common factor. So I have this power multiplied by to the power a minus m instead of n and then this power subtracted by 1 and this product is congruent to 0 mod 1000. Now notice that uh, 1000 is just 8 times 125 and we know that this number, this power of 978 will not contain any factor of 5. So this number must take up all, um, all the even factors because at the same time, the other part of the product is odd. So that means this is, has to be multiple of 8 and at the same time, the other part has to be multiple of 125. Now from this um, property, we know that um, for the even part, because 1978 is equal to 2 times 989. So each, um, whenever we multiply this number once, we only add an extra factor of 2 by 1. So if we want this power to be multiple of 8, we must have m to be at least 3, so that we can have um, 3 2s multiplied together. Then we can achieve um, a multiple of 8. So that means we will have m to be at least 3 and 1978 to the power n minus m is congruent to 1 mod 125. Now from this we can use um, our previous tools because the base and number we're dividing by, the numbers high, uh, underlined in light blue color, they are co-prime. So we can use Euler's theorem and order. From this congruence equation, we know that n minus m must be a multiple of the order of 1978 mod 1 to 5. Now the question is, what would the order be? If we have this number, then we can start to have more clue on finding the minimum values of m and n. Now for the order, we, we need to recall the order's theorem because we know that this order must divide phi of 1, 2, 5. It must divide phi of 1, 2, 5. And Recalling that 125 is actually 5 cubed, so phi of 125 is equal to the original number multiplied by 1 minus 1 fifth, and that's 100. So the order is a factor of 100, and this number can be 1, 2, 4, 5, 10, and 20, 25. 50 and 100. So these are the um, nine possible values. Instead of testing all nine possible values, I'm going to try to res further restrict them to even fewer possible cases. To do so, I'm going to consider mod 5 because 1 to 5 is 5 cubed. So by, take, by knowing that this number to the power, uh, to some power, 
like one of these values should congruent to 1 mod 1 2 5 I know that in particular this order should also um, this power I should say should also be congruent to 1 mod 5 now however notice in that this is actually congruent to minus 2 mod 5 and I have to bring it at least to the power 4 so to get 1 mod 5 so that means this d this order d I let d be the order must be multiple of 4 so that leaves only 3 possible values 4 20 and 100 The reason that I can restrict this to only multiples of 4 is that if I bring 1978 to the power uh, that is not a multiple of 4, then we can't even have 1 mod 5, not to mention 1 mod 125. So it remains to consider these three values, 4, 20, and 100. Then let's compute 1978 to the power of 4, and to the power 20 by hand. Now 1978 to the power 4 is actually congruent to minus 22 all to the power 4 mod 125. And that is 484 to the power 2 to squared mod 125 because minus 22 whole squared is 484. Now the base is congruent to minus 16 and all squared again and with the ready computers we have 256 and so the remainder is actually 6 so not 1 so order is not 4 as for power 20 We can use the results above with the help of the results above is that it's congruent to 6 to the power 20 divided by 4 so that's 6 to the power 5 and recalling that 6 to the 4 is actually um, 1 2 9 6 multiplied by 6 mod 1 2 5 I can further compute and I've remained the 46 for the first term so the product is 276 divided by 125 with remainder 26 so again not 1 and that means our order is actually exactly 100 so that means a minus m must be multiple of 100. These are the only conditions that we have. 100 divides a minus m, and at the same time, m has to be at least 3. So I can simply pick m to be 3, and for the minimal case, n to be 100. So let's write that down below. For our minimal case, we pick m to be 3, so m is indeed at least 3, and n to be 103, so the difference is 100, indeed a multiple of 100, and our answer is that sum, and that's 106, so this is our final answer.